Well, now to the latest on how recreational marijuana is impacting Arizona. In just the last six months, people have spent more than $247 million on weed. That's according to the State Department of Revenue. It's a lot of green. Now a local hotel <laughs> is cashing in by becoming the first marijuana-friendly hotel in Arizona. They have cannabis rooms and a cannabis chef who's been featured on the Food Network. So we'd be stoned not to send Jen Wall out there to check it out this morning. <laughs> She's live from the Clarendon Hotel and Spa. Jen, what's on the menu? Yes, good morning to you, Emma and Ryan. We're having a lot of fun this morning learning about this new concept here at the Clarendon. And this is Arizona's first cannabis-friendly hotel. There are 16 rooms here dedicated to cannabis if you want to come stay and have that experience. And just keep in mind, you have to be 21 and older. And the other part of that we're talking this morning is food. And we are joined now with Elevation's chef and owner. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How Thank are you guys? Thank you so much for being here. This is Derek Upton. He is plating an incredible looking meal. So tell us what you got going on here. So we're plating a little vegetable, a roasted vegetable salad with a ginger and lemongrass a vinaigrette. And we're uh, just, you know, this is kind of the food that we're kind of showcasing. And you know, cannabis can come in a form like this that everyone speaks. And I think this is a beautiful thing. It's mm -hmm. healthy. It's about the wellness. It's about what we're trying to do here. And so this is kind of the food that we're showcasing at our dinners. Yeah, we were talking earlier, you know, coming out here is not about getting high. Not it's, at it's all. It's a lot more than that. So tell us about that. Yeah, so what we do and what I do in cannabis is about the wellness. It's about understanding your endocannabinoid system and how cannabis fits into that and how you can have some relief from you know, addictions and alcohol mm -hmm. problems, you know, and there's a lot of science there that's that's showcasing that to be a real thing for people. And I want people to understand that it could doesn't have to be this bad stigma, you know, and that's why we're bringing chefs like Chef Jordan mm -hmm. out, celebrity chefs on a, on a platform that also understand the wellness of cannabis. And, you know, she can take this knowledge and do this thing in her own community. Yeah, definitely. So if somebody wants to get in on one of these dinners and taste your food, how do they do that? Yes, they can go to elevations with three S's.com um, and you can also go to eventhigh.com and type in elevated under the stars and you can get right to our ticket link. All right, Derek, thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. again. He's co owner with elevations and a chef, as you heard, making delicious meals this morning. And guys, not only do they do these experiences here with the Clarendon, but they also come into your home and do personal experiences there too. So this is really just growing and expanding here in Arizona, across the nation and across the world. I'm gonna be blunt. That's really interesting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm